so much going on in the world, you know. Uh, and you know, the, the Bible tells us that, you know, even Jesus said that, you know, uh, tribulations, you know, uh, that you will have tribulations. So, you know, and that's why when we come together, you know, that's that's how we uh, build each other up, you know, because we get tore down from everyday life, you know, just the rat race of, of the world and, and having to work and all these, these stresses, you know, and so I feel so encouraged by your presence alone, just, just being here. You know, they encourage me to continue to do what I'm doing as a Bible teacher and uh, to be the best uh, uh, Christian uh, that I can be. So thanks to you brothers for uh, giving me that encouragement and inspiring me to uh, do my best uh, in my Christian uh, walk and journey. So uh, today um, uh, I wanted to deal with a lesson because I had a talk with a uh, guy been trying to invite to come here and, and uh, uh, this the title is the controversy of what about the thief on the cross. Mm -hmm. That's a very controversial topic because uh, a lot of people in the realm of religion, especially a lot of false uh, doctrine uh, teachers, believe that uh, that baptism is not essential to salvation because they believe that the thief, because of the thief, on the cross and what Jesus uh, replied to him, the statement that he made to him, have many people believing that baptism is not necessary for one to be saved because of the thief. Mm -hmm. And the Bible doesn't have any, give any indication of the thief uh, being baptized, but many people believe that the paradise that Jesus gives reference to is heaven, and that that where the thief will spend eternity in, in heaven. They think it's a spiritual uh, paradise, uh, the, the heavenly uh, abode. And so I wanted to uh, dispel these this falsehood. Um, and we're going to look at the scriptures. And to break this down, uh, that paradise uh, is not uh, heaven that mm -hmm. Jesus uh, gave reference to uh, when he replied to the thief. So the that's titled, The Controversy of What About the Thief on the Cross? That's what many false religions would say. And so when you talk to them and, and uh, you tell them that baptism is essential for salvation, this is the question they're going to pose to you. What about the thief on the cross? Mm -hmm. You know. So we're going to deal with that today. So we're going to look at the book of Luke, chapter 23, verses 39 through 43. So, uh, so as we're going to look in God's word and to be led by the Holy Spirit, let the Holy Spirit be our guide into all the truth. So the Bible says, And one of the male factors which were hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Do not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation. And indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man had done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. Now the entire chapter of Luke, chapter 23, will give us a better understanding of of the context of the entire chapter of the book of Luke. 
and we would have to look at the entire chapter to understand what led up to Jesus being nailed to the cross. Luke also mentions in Luke chapter 9 and verse 22, saying, The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes, be killed and be raised up the third day. Now, this is spoken in, in past tense. You know, the tribulations that Jesus will go through. So there's a lot he has to endure. So he, he knows he has to go to Jerusalem to be persecuted and to die on the cross. Be buried, but it doesn't end there. He will be resurrected uh, from the grave. So his death, burial, and resurrection will be a fulfillment of the complete written word of God that will happen uh, much later on in the future tense. So in the context of Luke chapter 20, <coughs> 23, he gives a description of <coughs> the life of Jesus during his earthly ministry <coughs> before his crucifixion. And in the previous chapter of Luke chapter 22, uh, we see that the scribes and chief priests were plotting uh, to kill Jesus, uh, but they feared the people. So they wanted to try a different approach by trying to trick him, use trickery. And so Judas portrayed Jesus with a kiss and for 30 pieces of silver. So, Jesus, I mean, Judas uh, betrayed Jesus and him being uh, taken in uh, captive uh, <clears throat> by the, uh, the many of the um, multitudes. So, Jesus was already aware of uh, this conspiracy against him and also uh, when we go back to Luke 23 we see that Jesus was arrested he was brought before Annas uh, Annas was a, a Jewish high priest who, who questioned Jesus about his disciples and his teachings and sent him to uh, Sophias among other uh, religious leaders. So you have the chief priest and the elders who sought false witnesses against Jesus to put him to death but found none. So it didn't matter how many came forth they still found nothing in Jesus on Jesus to put him uh, to death. So his identity is being questioned and his response made them believe he is guilty of death because he is being accused of blasphemy. The Jews don't have the authority to put Jesus to death as it is uh, being unlawful in doing so according to John chapter 18 and verse 31. So the false accusers from the multitudes uh, they went again. Jesus it started with him them accusing him of perverting the nation of Israel, then forbidding them to pay tribute uh, to Caesar, and saying that he himself is Christ the King. So you have three false allegations against Jesus. First of all, why would Jesus be misleading the nation as a people when he is not guilty of any wrongdoing? In 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 17, we find an example of Ahab accusing Elijah of being a troubler uh, of Israel. And after his defense, he and his father's family were also uh, accused. 
Now, Jesus taught his disciples the importance of, of paying taxes. The Pharisees were trying to trick Jesus into saying that he encouraged the people not to pay taxes to the Romans, which is also not true. So you have one false accusation after, the, after another. In fact, Jesus himself, he paid taxes, according to Matthew chapter 17 and verse number 24 uh, gives an example of this. The scripture says, And when they were come to Capernaum, they that received tribute money came to Peter and said, Doeth not your master pay tribute? He said, Yes. Now his false accusers said that he's forbidding the people to paying taxes to Caesar. But the Bible says in Luke chapter 20 and, and verse 25, and he said to them, Render therefore to Caesars and to God the things uh, that's God's. So again, that is also not true. Uh, they're saying that he himself is Christ, a king. Now, Pilate investigates by asking the question if he is the king of the Jews. And Jesus' response to Pilate confirms to him that he is the king of the Jews and finds no fault in him. Knowing who Jesus is, he doesn't find him guilty of any uh, crime, despite the accusations that were brought against him. Now in John chapter 19 and verse 15, we see that after Jesus is released by Pilate, they insisted that he be crucified. The chief priests didn't believe Jesus as being the king of the Jews, but Caesar as their king. So they became more outraged, insistent, that he be crucified. Jesus can continue to be in question if he was a Galilean and because he was under Herod's jurisdiction, he was sent back to Herod. Not being worthy of death, he sent back to Pilate who decided to uh, release him. But after hearing the outcry to crucify him, that had prevailed. Pilate then gave sentence to cast him into prison, to be led away, to be put uh, to death. So Pilate had the authority as a Roman governor to have someone uh, to be put uh, to death, uh, according to Matthew chapter 27 verses 22 to uh, 35. And when we get to verse 33, he is on the cross in between two male factors, which means uh, criminals. Now, what's interesting here is that one of, them made, one of them made a confession to Jesus in verse 42. He says, Remember me, uh, remember when thou comest into thy kingdom. Now, although the thief knew that he and the other criminal were both worthy of, of being condemned for their evil deeds, he knew who Jesus was and that there was still hope uh, for him. Now, Jesus' reply in verse 43 can be easily misinterpreted by most people in the realm of religion. Uh, they're very good at taking this scripture out of context among other scriptures as well. Now this will pose a, a question. Um, and the question would be would be uh, which paradise is Jesus referring to? Because many false teachers and denominational religious groups alike believe that paradise gives reference to heaven and that's where the thief will be well I want to uh, dispel this this uh, falsehood here 
that is simply not true. Uh, that paradise is not heaven in the way that Jesus uses the word in his response to the thief. Uh, Keith, yes. Okay, man. Hobby. Yeah, I was just going to mention concerning uh, paradise. You know, where when it comes to Jesus Christ, uh, he was three days and three night, three days in in the belly of not the fish, but of the earth. In Matthew twelve forty, it says, "For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights." In the heart of the earth. And so when Jesus said this day thou shall be with me in paradise. His, his soul and the thief's soul went to the heart of the earth. So paradise is in the heart of the earth. You know I don't know if you got to Luke 16 as of yet. But um, that's also mentioned in two different places. In Luke chapter 16 where the rich man went to hell. And then... Lazarus went to Abraham's bosom. And so that just shows us a picture of, of paradise, you know. And I just wanted to read that scripture, Matthew 12, verse 40, concerning uh, Jesus Christ, where he was going to be for three days. Yeah, um, so we, like Javier pointed out, we look at Luke 16, uh, there's two different compartments uh, between uh, where the uh, the place where the rich man uh, went, and also where uh, the beggar went, and the, the scriptures say that both of them died, but they went somewhere after uh, their, after they died. So now, where uh, the rich man spent, where the rich man was. Uh, this was a place of torment. So, where Jesus, uh, where he went, was in the in the Hadean world. Mm -hmm. So that's that's con not considered uh, the same hell that where the rich man went. So he had two different compartments because the Bible says that was a great go fix between the two. So that's a separation that. Once uh, they're in that that compartment, it's sealed. They cannot cross over uh, on the side where where the uh, comfort of the righteous and the righteous, you know, they 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 can't go on the other side. Why would they want to? Because that's not a place where they want to be anyway. Yeah. So they're. Uh, two separate compartments that Javier just alluded to, so it's not in comparison to uh, where Jesus uh, had went, um, and we, I'm going to deal with that later on, but just kind of getting ahead of myself here, but uh, just to look at uh, the, the differences between the two, so thank you Javier for breaking that down no. for us, uh, no. but uh, so, good lesson, good lesson. Yeah, thank you, brother. Um, so, where were we? So, yeah, when we look at, now, Paul, he gives um, a clear facts of the gospel in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. So, he himself received, and the same, just like we also received, you know, when we first heard, of the instructions, you know, that came from God's word, that we have to hear something. So Paul is speaking about the facts, the true facts that Christ died, he was buried, and he and he resurrected from the grave. Those are the facts of the gospel. So, but um, now the Bible doesn't doesn't say. Uh, that his soul went to paradise. But what it does say in Acts chapter 2, verse 31, the Bible says, He seeing this before spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh 
did see uh, corruption. Now, after Jesus died, his body was placed in the tomb, according to Acts chapter 13 and verse 29. When we look at John chapter 20 and verse 1, Mary Magdalene came uh, to the tomb and thinking that Jesus' body was, was inside the tomb she, when she came. Mm -hmm. But she found out that something was, was a bit strange when she, when she got there. That the stone was removed from the sepulchre. And so Peter came to find his clothing that was still in the tomb, but Jesus' body was not there. And he was in Hades. He went down into the Hadean world only for a short uh, time. So his body didn't, didn't receive any corruption. His, his physical body did not receive, was not uh, corrupted. So, no, no human being on this earth can, body cannot withstand uh, a, a, a bottomless, a bottom compartment mm. uh, like Hades. Mm. Only Jesus was, was able to uh, accomplish that, you know, because he's Yes, Steve. Oh, so I want to make sure I hear you right, my brother. So, you, you, are you speaking of his body went to hell or his soul? Okay, yeah, thank you, brother. Um, his his soul went to the Hadean world. The yes. Hades, his soul, um, his body. Right, paradise. But the Bible says that, okay, his physical body, they thought was still in the tomb where he was actually in. Right. But his body, his physical body was not in the tomb when they got there. So what, so the question would be, where did his, where did his physical body go? Yeah, but well his physical body, yeah, is on the earth moving about again. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so, what was left was the spirit, the soul. So the soul did go to Hades. Right, the body was in the tomb, though. His body was in the tomb. When the right. body left the tomb, that's because he was back in it. He was back in the tomb? No, his body was, his spirit was back in his body again, so okay. he got out of the tomb. Right. But he did see corruption, but he, mm -hmm. he was resurrected and not to not right. see corruption again. That's I, right. I, 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 yeah, okay. Right. He was resurrected. Thank you. Yeah. Those in. And then, too, you know, the, the Bible says that Flesh and blood shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. And so after he resurrected, when the people saw him, because they remembered the suffering that he had went through on the cross, they knew what he had endured. Right. And when they saw him after he had resurrected, they was in disbelief. Like, is this, is this the, the same Christ, the same Lord that we seen that was hung on the cross with his nails mm -hmm. were piercing his flesh and right. then the bible says out came uh water and blood mm -hmm. so they 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 was like shocked to see him because they remember what happened to him right but then he had told them to touch his flesh that this mm -hmm. is really me i'm real this is me mm -hmm. and so we can see that he was resurrected uh by his father so that's the power so yeah his body didn't uh see corruption you're right so his soul went to hades and his physical body you say was went back to the earth correct no i want to read that i'm glad you asked that. i just want to read that uh in acts chapter 13 uh he says that um and look at verse uh, 28. And this is what you teach. This is a good lesson, brother. 
uh, we start writing 28. And though they found no cause of death in him, as you so well taught, he shouldn't have died. Yet desired they parted that he should be slain. And 13.29 of Acts says, And when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him from the tree and laid him in a sepulcher, which, which this is one of the verses you quoted. Verse 30, But God raised him from the dead. And he was seen many days of them which came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are his wisdom to the people. And we declare unto you glad tidings how that the promise which was made unto the fathers, God hath fulfilled the same unto us, their children, and that he raised up Jesus again. As is written in the second psalm, God, my son, this day have I begotten thee. And as concerning that he raised him up from the dead, how no more to return to corruption. You see that? Return to corruption. That's the key verse there. And, uh, you know, because he's coming from the dead, but... He did corrupt, but he raised him, and he doesn't go back to corruption. See, Lazarus is raised from the dead. He goes back to corruption because he dies, and his body is, is decayed now, but not Christ. He said, on this wise, I will give you the sure mercies of David. So this is the mercy given unto the Lord, where he will never return to corruption. Wherefore he said, also in the second psalm, thou shalt not suffer thine holy one to see corruption. So see, this is the idea. He's going through the Psalms and he's going back and forth showing how did he not see corruption. If he died, when you die, that's corruption. He's dead for three days as you talk. But he raised him from the dead and he doesn't go back. So his body is not buried on the earth. His body did not decay in the sky and then fall to the earth. No, his body is gone. Just like it was made, it's gone. And so the idea is that, but he walked around on his body for 40 days on the earth to show himself, as you said, to touch the hands and see proof of the resurrection, but never to return to corruption again. And see, that's what we're hoping for, to resurrect, but we won't get flesh. We get a new body like to his glorious body, never to see corruption again. And I was like, we were not going to raise from the dead on that day and then go back to dead like Lazarus. We're going to stay resurrected and going to go up to heaven. So, the idea is that his body, though, was in the tomb the whole time he was in the heart of the earth, like Brother Fred said, for three days. While his soul is in paradise, his body is still on the earth, in the tomb, as you said, for three days. And then he comes from paradise back into the body, never to die again. Yeah, that's a soul different than the body. Yeah. So when the so when the body was in the tomb, his soul was already separated where he actually went to Hades. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Paradise. And Brother Fritz keeps saying paradise so we know he didn't go, thank you, preacher, for to the bottom part where Luke 16 is. He didn't go down. So he didn't, like you said, he didn't visit, okay, he didn't visit yeah. the other on the yeah. he No, did. he didn't go fool with them. They lost. Yeah. That guy down there, he's gone and the other one's with him. He didn't go he tell them say, nothing. Okay, I see what you're yeah, about. he didn't tell them. You see, that's a Catholic doctrine to go to purgatory. Yeah. And you know, you suffer. Mm -hmm. And then you come. Most of them are not suffering. Okay, Moses is not being tortured. Okay. And neither is Elijah. Mm -hmm. But we know it's a paradise. We know the thief is not being taught. Yeah, yeah, Jesus yeah. wasn't taught when he went to paradise. The people down in the bottom compartment, that's no hope for them. That's Catholic doctrine that you go and suffer and be and be whooped, scorched or whatever lie they teach. And you come and no, that's no hope. If you die in your sins, Jesus said you can't be where I'm at. You cannot go. You don't go to that part. Mm -hmm. That's why Brother Fritz keeps saying paradise. Mm -hmm. Because that's the part that Jesus took the thief to. Mm -hmm. But he's not tortured, not beaten for his crimes. No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's Catholic doctrine. Yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you for clearing that up. Yeah. Uh, yes. Talk about Brother Fritz. Yeah. Yeah. I just also want to read uh, Acts 13, 36. For David, after he had served his own generation, by the will of God, fell on sleep and was laid into a his fathers and saw corruption, mm -hmm. but he whom God raised again, 
saw no corruption. And so he didn't uh, continue to decay. You know, he resurrected. We know that the woman, she put perfume on him for his death, for his burial. You know, to prepare for his burial. You know, and also they wrapped his body up. Uh, and there's a certain way that they wrap it uh, to prepare for the burial. And so when you look at uh, Acts chapter 2, looking at verse 34, it says, For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he said himself, The Lord said, un said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand until I make thy foes thy footstool. So right here it says that King David didn't even go to heaven. That's right. So did he go to hell? You know, it's because that's what they say at funerals. You know, he's in heaven. He's in heaven. But you know, out of all the righteous men in the Bible, you know, whom God loved, it says he didn't go to heaven. So what's another place? Paradise. You got John chapter 1, verse 18, where Jesus, is sent, or where the Bible says, uh, No man has seen God at any time, the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he had declared it. And so the Son is the only one that's seen uh, the Father. He said he's seen the shape too. In John 3, 13, it says, And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. So Jesus is saying no man been up there. Mm -hmm. So these Baptists and Pentecostals are saying he's in heaven, he's a better place. Well, Jesus is saying that, you know, nobody's been up there. Amen. So everybody's waiting for the resurrection, according to the Thessalonian letter, until they resurrect out. That's right. Of hell and go into a lake of fire and those in paradise resurrect out and then they go to um, to heaven afterward. And then you got uh, again in John uh, 20 verse 17 uh, more proof where Jesus said unto her touch me not for I am not ascended to my father Amen. but go to my brethren and say unto them I ascend unto my father and unto your father and to my God and your God. So for three days, this is when he resurrected. He said, he said in this verse, uh, I ascend to my father and your father. He says, I have not, for I am not yet ascended to my father. He said, I haven't gone up there yet. You know, so that's a good question to ask people. Where did Jesus' soul go when he died? A lot of times they'll tell you, oh, he went to heaven. But this verse will tell you, I haven't ascended up there yet. I haven't yeah, gone up there yet. So, because they always believe that someone dies, heaven. Dies, heaven. A prostitute dies, heaven. A drug dealer dies, heaven. You know, everybody goes to heaven in their eyes uh, because they're a relative. They're a friend that they love. And they always have these shirts that they make with their faces with wings surrounding yes. their bodies, you know, and a halo. Uh, you know, and their maybe their favorite shoes next to the to the to the wings, because you know, of course, there's gonna be Jordans in heaven too. So, but all this is is uh, you know, it's just an imagination of men that they make. So, somebody had the hand up. God bless you, preacher. God bless you. Great class. That brother I've yeah, boy. <laughs> He's in Jordans up in heaven. Golly, that's what they brought. Thank. Yeah, Jordans. Yeah, and Jordans. Yeah, you right about that, brother. Uh, when they're saying you uh, dying and going, I, I talked to one of the brothers yesterday, Patrick. Brother Keith, you know Patrick. Mm -hmm. And we was talking about that uh, dying. And I was telling him, I said, well, my uh, brother, um, he, uh, his wife, you know, father, I mean, you know, her stepfather passed away. I'm sorry to hear that. And, um, what happened was, I had talked to Keith about it too the other day, uh, as well. But he married a wife. He was on a deathbed. They had been together for over thirty some years, you know, shacking. Yes. And all of a sudden, he on the deathbed. Now he, you know, he, he they got they they got married, and it was like three weeks ago. Okay. So, and I was talking to Patrick about it, but I didn't. But my brother was telling me, he said, yeah, they got married today. I'm like, I'm like, what? I said, they got married today. I said, you got to be kidding me. I said, why he almost dead? They got married? So I said, well, I was telling him, I said, what I don't understand is that 
they putting everybody in heaven. You know, we talked about that. Mm -hmm. And I said that, I said it's a coincidence when I said if a pimp dies, they're going to put him in heaven too as well. Yes. You know. I see. I see. Everybody's going to heaven, but everybody ain't going to hell. Nobody. Goes. So everybody's looking down on everybody, everybody, you know. But everybody's looking up. <laughs> you know what I say? You know, we, we got to understand is that when you die, you know, we don't know. We like you say. I was telling him. I said we we can't play God because you don't know what that type of person had with God. Even when, even with the Church of Christ, yes. we can't say they went to heaven. Right. All we can say is that hopefully God rest their soul. Hopefully, we have hope. We have hope. Exactly. We have hope because we can only see by we can only see by action. We can't see by spiritual. Right. So we don't actually know what they had yeah. with God. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Even though they are in the Church of Christ, you do have some Church of Christ members that we, by actions we we might see, but we don't know them behind closed doors. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? That's right. So we, we can't put no one in heaven. Right. All we can just say, hey, you know, laws we hopefully they made it. I have a you question. Know. Mm -hmm. Do we have hope in a God who is an idolater versus Vishnu? No. Oh no. Wow. So can we say, well, we don't know what's gonna happen to him. We he we got hope because God is the final judge. No. We can't say that. Mm. Not on that path. Not on that path, yeah. An avid Idolater. Yeah. yeah. Matter of fact, he was buried by his design mm -hmm. and desire mm -hmm. under the teaching of Vishnu. Mm -hmm. So we have no hope in that one. We have no hope. Amen. We have no hope. Amen. But some of us, you know, we think that we're going to, but and half of us, we don't really know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As far as being Christians, we don't really know. But we know, percentage of my, my mindset, we know that we. We have a 50-50 a, a, a chance of making it and, or not making it. We know. Because we know what we do wrong. We know what we do right. You know what I'm saying? So we don't really know. But when, when, when it comes, when I'm saying about 50-50, we don't really, we, we, how can I say it? When it comes to 50-50, it means that as far as being in Christ, we really don't know. Because we know what we do wrong. We know we do wrong. We already know. If we're going to make it or not, you know what are I'm you saying? saying? Are you saying that it's our part we're doing and God has to receive it? That's the fifty. Pretty, pretty, pretty much, side. it's like it's, that's what I'm saying. It's like that's like the fifty fifty. Because right. we we already know we already know right from wrong. We already know if we putting in a hundred percent with with God. You know what I'm saying? And then you know and and, and we really look at it. Half of us really are not really putting in all we have. You know what I'm saying? From? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying in general. You know what I'm just saying? You know, we, as Christians, because I didn't talk to a lot of, I didn't talk to some Christians saying, man, I don't think I'm putting in all. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm slacking. I'm slacking on these things, you know. And like you said, when we do slack, when we don't come to church, you know what I'm saying? We don't read our Bibles. You know what I'm saying? We slack. And then once we slack, we're going to doing other things that we're not supposed to be doing. And that, that and the number one thing is not coming to church. You know what I'm saying? That's the number one thing. And when you don't come to church, you sin. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, but if you don't, that's what I'm saying, you don't have no chance. But I'm just saying, we already know that we, we are already doing wrong. We already know that, you know, we know that some of us are not going to make it because we're not doing what we have to do when it comes to, when it comes to the work of of, of, of of being a Christian, and we know, and some saints know that if that Christian don't come, you know, guess what? They sold us down. So if we go to a saint's funeral and we know that this saint don't come to church, you know what I'm saying? Have a forsake the assembly, and that person dies. What are you going to say at that person's funeral? Are you going to be honest with it? Because people are going to say, well, well, I thought all Christians go to, go to, go to heaven. But that Christian never they came back to church. All of a sudden, we had this. Wasn't sick. We, well, yeah, wasn't sick. Always working, but never came to church. What do you, we can't lie. We can't lie. We got to be honest. We can't lie. 
So if that so if that Christian never came to church for Satan assembly, never came, what would you say? What would you preach at that one at that at that at that funeral? Well We can't you say we can't me. say he went to heaven. Oh, can't say she me. went to heaven. Just no, I'm just saying I'm just saying if you oh, preach just saying. Just saying. Yeah. You, we can't lie because 'cause we're Christians. But we all know that that saint forsake the assembly, never came back, left. So the person dies. What would you say? We can't lie about it. Well, I wouldn't say <laughs> yeah. they went to hell, but I wouldn't say they went to heaven. Right, that's, yeah, 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 that's what Paul said. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. say, you know, Susie, she's going to hell. He mm -hmm. just says, we have hope in Christ. We have hope in Christ, you know right. And that, right. That's, that's what I hope is there. But we can't have hope in a pattern that's, I mean, what can you say? Mm -hmm. Like, you can't lie. I say, it don't matter if you go yeah, to church. Yeah, you can't, you can't lie. You're you right about that. Just preach the gospel out the film. <laughs> and and let it be, you know, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. let it be. But keep it up. But all. Yeah, keep up, keep it up. I just want to, I don't, I'm going to comment on that. On the lesson that brother Javier yeah. and brother, that brother uh, Kevin, Kevin was uh, talking about, and uh, there's a scripture that brother Ozan that, that some, sometimes we use it when we close mm -hmm. in uh, First Peter three and um, uh, twenty one. Uh -huh. The Bible says, "The light figure, when even baptism doeth also now save us, mm -hmm. not to put in the way of the flesh, the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward." Amen toward God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ who has gone into heaven and is on the right hand of God Amen. and in authority and power been made subject unto him so after after he dies and does all those things that he promised that he'll do but if we go up a little further than that uh, I think y'all commented on him going back, going back to heaven not being resurrected but coming back and being in the flesh showing himself unto the saints and his body is not yet ascended yet to prove that there is a resurrection. Amen. But right here, it shows right here, verse 18 says, For Christ also had once suffered for sin, the, for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit, but which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison. Amen. So and then he goes on to say, uh, which sometimes were disobedient, with when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was preparing, wherein few and eight souls were saved by water. So God goes back and preaches, and but he talks about those eight souls that he goes back. He talks about he's going back and he went back into the, the, the prison to speak to the spirits that That's were in right. prison. But he reaches all the way back and he talks about Noah. Yes. So who did he go preach to during that time? Yeah. Had to be had to be that group. That is what he's talking about. He's referring back. Yeah. So 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 all y'all all what y'all are saying and what Kevin is saying this lesson is deep. This yes. is even deeper than what we think it was Christ went back and preached in the, yeah. in prison to the spirits. Right. I know he didn't go back to uh to the Huntsville and preaching the prison down there. They got spirits in them too. No, he wouldn't speak to the, the, the spirits that no longer have flesh anymore. Yeah. Those Amen. saints, those saints are past. Yeah. Amen, brother. Amen. Yeah. Just uh, want to preach, uh, want to say a uh, good lesson, brother. Uh, Amen. In Luke 18, verse 9, it says, And he spake this parable to certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous. Mm. And despised others. What do you got, preach? Uh, Luke, 18, Luke 18, verse 9. 9. Okay. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust adulterers, or even as just publican. I fast twice in the week, I give tithes of all I possess, and the publican standing afar off will not. Lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. 
I tell you, this man went down to his house justified Amen. rather than the other. For every one that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. And so when you look at um, when you look at this case of the publican, um, the Pharisee was looking down on him, you know, concerning his laws, but God had forgiven him. So there are some who have the spirit of Christ and may leave the church, and God sees their heart Amen. if they're sincere. Amen. So what I mean is that if they know they they sin and not going to church, they confess, Amen. God is going to show his, depending on his Amen. measurement of grace, That's right. depend, because himself he's going to look at the sorrow on his heart and say whether he is going to forgive him or not, Amen. you know, because... He's been born again. He's his child. He recognizes his sins. And if God has mercy for him, then he'll show him mercy. Uh, you know, even a person that, that gets married at the end, Amen. you know, they, they see their, their heir. Mm -hmm. They're still alive. Mm -hmm. They see their heir before they're dead. Mm -hmm. God sees, okay, you know, I see that you recognize. Well, yeah, you still have right, right. Yeah. So the idea is that uh, the mindset of Luke uh, chapter 17 verse 20 so likewise ye when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you say we are unprofitable servants we have done that which was our duty to do so that's the mindset god wants us to have because whatever we are and we have it's because of him we received it from him and so the idea is that uh carrying that mindset allows god's grace to, to cover you as well because you recognize that there's someone higher than you that that uh, you're following, you mm -hmm. know, right. and so when someone, uh, you know, is recognizing, hey, I've, I've sinned, you know, God is the one that's going to look down and, and show mercy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Come back and we got the record. You don't but the temple of God, remember, he, they went to the temple, the Pharisees mm -hmm. and the public. Mm -hmm. So the temple of God is not the building, it's the yeah, church. Yeah. So yeah. if they're in their sick bed and two or three go unto that person, mm -hmm. remember, they're in, before the temple mm -hmm. of God. Because the temple of God is not the building. It's, it's yeah, where it's people are. People, yeah. So if you visit them while they're, they're sick and they are truly sincere, you know, God is going to yeah, 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 yeah. if like it's say, his will. He has mercy on those who have mercy on you know, man. Who have mercy yeah. on them. Amen. I want to read one thing turn to William before we close out. When William pointed out, and that's in 1 Timothy 5 and verse 24, he says, Some men's sins are open beforehand. Going before the judgment, and some men they follow after, and so he said, Likewise, also the good works of some are method beforehand, and they that are otherwise cannot be here. So <clears throat> that was a good gesture that God did to get married, but he's not a saint. We're not a saint so, bro. good repentance move, but how does he remove 30 years of sin? That's why Brother Fritz is saying, This is beautiful, it's come up. You and that's why somebody said, Man, he's been living with that one for 30 years, they just got married, yeah, but if he's a saint. They can be removed. See, we don't know that when people yeah. are dying. Mm -hmm. We're not there. Mm -hmm. The guy doesn't come to church. I said, man, I was going to go to church next week, man, but I done got sick and then he dies. If the Lord knows he's going to go to church next week, he's going to forgive me. Yeah, if he, he, yeah, if he knew the, that, he don't need to mindset. see it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, everything's about the mindset now. So, yeah, we, we might get up there and say, he didn't make it, he didn't come to church. Yeah, after, yeah but see, we don't know. Mm -hmm. So he just preached the gospel of the funeral. Say we have open Christ. We have open in Christ. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's it. But Bar the main thing is yeah. that we can't we can't put it can't clear by the heaven. No. Like my mom was baking <laughs> barbecue beans up there looking down on Yeah, nobody up there doing that. Do that. Nobody doing that's that. That's what we got to understand. Even there. if they do put them in heaven, we got to tell them they don't go to heaven yet. Yes. That's Paris. right. And that's what I tell Amen. them. They say, we can't we can't go to heaven though. We can't. Not yet. Well, that's what they that's what they say. They clear by the heaven. Yeah. With you know, the angels with right the angels. now. Shit and dancing, uh, break dancing. Sure, how to yeah. break dancing. Yeah. Cooking, cooking chicken and stuff. Yeah, I want to give final thoughts. Of how you were saying is, is true. Uh, now, when G when Jesus replied to the, the the thief, now he said, "This day you shall be with me in paradise." Mm -hmm. Paradise. Now, some people will misinterpret that as that he immediately uh, went to paradise based on the statement that was made. And um, so 
Now, here's another thing to think about. At the time that the statement that Jesus made to the thief, the death, burial, and resurrection hadn't even took place uh, yet. It was prior to his death, burial, and resurrection. So, you know, Jesus could could say anything he wanted to say at during that time, you know, but Jesus did not immediately go to uh paradise. What scripture uh -oh. do you have, Ken? Huh? What scripture do you have? What do you mean? What scripture do you have says what that he did what you just said. Are you going to go to paradise? Yeah, he didn't go to paradise. I think Kevin, I think you you're saying paradise for heaven. No, you right. Paradise is not heaven. No, um, he did go to paradise that day. He, he ended did, there. Yeah, yeah. So now, see, heaven is not paradise as right, you as you're right. teaching. Yeah. So yeah. when he's saying paradise, he's talking about paradise, yeah. not heaven. And he went to right. paradise when the thief died. He did go to paradise. Yeah, this this paradise. there wasn't no waiting on that. He, he went. went. No waiting on that. Well, I, well, I guess I'm referring to is that mm -hmm. some people believe that the, the thief went to paradise immediately after he made the statement. No, they were both no. on the cross still. Yeah. Yeah. When, when he died, yeah, when he died, yeah, when he thief, died. I think the thief, thief died first. Mm. After. No, he, he, he died after. Uh, died after. Did he die after? I don't I know think who he died, died after. Yeah, because they had to break his leg. Yeah, right? yeah. They would have taken yeah. legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the yeah. 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 Well, you, you you're right about that. The thief, the thief, uh, yeah. the thief done wrong. You're right about that. And then, like you said, forgiving heart. He, they both he, he, believed in, he believed in Christ himself. And, you know, like you said, yeah. we don't break at, at first, he was against Christ. Both he of the was. He was. That was he going both, yeah. Teeth, and then he changed his mind, repented. Because he listened. He looked, he listened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so and, that's what I did, and, that's what, and that's the thing about it. With the thief, make you think, though. Let's make you think all with the, that with the thief, yeah. even though he did, but he started thinking. You know, like everybody else see when they see that's stuff. Y'all like, you know, all what? of us think about. And he observed about. everything and really listened to the, to what he said, yeah. so and it changed his mind, so changed the thinking. Amen. Kevin, I think the point Kevin trying to make is that we it's, it's like uh, you know the, the kingdom. The Bible said the kingdom comes without. Observance. Mm -hmm. So in that, in that, in that, Be still. in that point where he's dying, Be still. yeah, the kingdom, the kingdom is changing hands. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a new time now. You know, it's like the gospel has to be preached after that. But before still, that, still. you know, Christ could quicken. He could tell somebody that this day you're gonna be with me in paradise. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That that's what you're trying to say. I think because Be still. he mentioned, he mentioned uh, that the sins. So, so the man had power on earth to yeah. forgive sins. Yeah. Man. So he was on earth and he forgave him his sins. That's he right. This day you're going to be with me in paradise. They're going to be forgiven. That's, That's right. right. Okay. You know what you're saying? Yeah, so, so like Ozan made it clear that the paradise is not to be confused with the heaven paradise. Uh, that's, that's not what, what Jesus is referring to. Yeah, because Brother Free is read for us. He hadn't gone to heaven yet. Even after the resurrection, he still hadn't gone to heaven. Yeah, because, um, because okay, if you, go, if you go back to Luke 16, the paradise uh, uh, that Abraham, uh, that the, the beggar was in, that was a holding place. It's a place of comfort. It's a holding place. Where your books at? That's your book, all Juju. the righteous that have died uh, during that time, they're still in that same holding place until Jesus returns again. Exactly. So, exactly. That, like how you say, so no man has ascended into heaven. So he, David didn't make heaven. Was he a righteous man? Yes. But is he in heaven? No. Because they, they can't Proceed. They, uh, they they can't go before Jesus because he's the final judge. But have they gone now to heaven? So right now the righteous are in paradise, paradise a place of comfort. So yes. the Amen. paradise that Jesus is referring to is not the same paradise where the oh let me go back. The paradise that Jesus is referring to to the thief is Hades. Yes, yes, and that's where they both went that yes. day. Yes. Okay, Hades. So that's not that's not heaven like Ozan. That's a torture, man. That's the text, brother Frius read.
that Christ had not gone to heaven even after the resurrection That's until right. he stepped on the cloud. Yeah. Acts chapter 1. When he stepped on the cloud, That's right. and, uh, Matthew 28. All right, brother, God bless you. Thank bless you, Keith. That's when he went to heaven. Yeah, because you have the ascension, oh, yeah. the ascension of Jesus. So yes. When, okay, there's a difference between ascending and descending. Yes. When he went to Hades, he descended because he went down. Good teaching, right. brother, yeah. Ascended means that he went back to heaven. He went up. Yeah, That's right. on the cloud. But after his resurrection, he didn't immediately go to heaven. No, no he, he was stayed still, a few days. Yeah, That's right. Days. A couple of days. Exactly. On earth. And so just like the few days that he was in the grave, but his body didn't see corruption in that three-day uh, time. He did then, but he's raised back and put in the body. Right. And it and walks it, around, it and, it, and he didn't see corruption. It didn't see continual corruption. Yeah, continue. See, he didn't, like, he like didn't go, it didn't like his body dropped from the cloud and died mm -hmm. somewhere on earth. No. So he yeah. didn't see, it says no more to return to no. corruption. That's it. So it didn't return to corruption. Why? Because he resurrected. Yeah. Right. See, if he stayed dead, then his body would have decayed. Amen. But it didn't decay like David's body did. It, <clears throat> it didn't return to corruption. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference mm -hmm. between corruption is that it didn't continue to decay. Mm -hmm. So it yeah. did see corruption where it was completely turning to dust is what it's saying. Yeah. And also too, you know, Amen. if his body would have would have stayed down and not resurrected, then it means that it wouldn't be no hope for the world. Yeah. Because his no resurrection uh, gives hope, you know, uh, because he's alive again. Mm -hmm. And so those who want to be saved, he's the savior that can save those who are lost. That's right. So now the thief, he's okay. The, the thief, what he didn't do anything to be saved. He just made a confession. Right. Well, that's Jesus why, that's why Jesus saved him. That's right. Yeah. You know, because right. he mentioned unto the other thief. And we've done deeds worthy to be mm -hmm. on here. Amen. And then he asked Jesus, you know, will you receive me into your kingdom? And he said, this day you will be with me in paradise. Amen. So he, he mm -hmm. recognized his faults and then he asked Christ, you know, to to receive him. For, you know, for, and he forgave him. Jesus forgave him on, on the cross. Mm -hmm. Now they teach today that, what about the thief on the cross? But that can't be taught because... Jesus is not on earth to forgive sins anymore. Amen. So Amen. you can't be saved the way the thief on the cross was. You have to right. be Amen. baptized because now after his resurrection, he gave the commandment to go into all the world. He that believes in his baptized should be saved. He that believes not shall be damned. So Amen. now that's the form of, of forgiveness and salvation that one receives is the baptism because you can't go back to the time when Jesus was alive mm -hmm. and have your sins removed through Jesus meeting him in person, John's baptism, can't do animal sacrifices. You can't do those anymore. Yeah. So too, you know, um, because that was Jesus made that an exception, you know, um, for that the thief. But he tells us what we have to do in order to be saved. So there's action required now, because now we of the we're under the law of grace and truth. So we're doing that time that the thief, you know. What happened with the thief? The New Testament hadn't come in, hadn't been fulfilled yet. It hadn't come into existence. So yeah, under that, you know, that was that was under the uh, the Old Testament, you know. So doing, you know, the law of Moses, because the Bible says, uh, I believe John one seventeen it says by uh, he says the law came by Moses. But grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. So there's a there's a, a separation between the Old Testament and the, and the New Testament. Amen. So, and even yeah. in the Old Testament, you know, Jesus' is power. See, Jesus' power said, let it be known, I have power on earth to forgive sins. That's right. Man. That's just him speaking, this is what I can do under the old law. While we're living under mm -hmm. the old law, this is what I can do and I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And so that's what he did on um, certain Amen. cases. Yeah, this, this, yeah, I just put it up.